Hi everybody, how's it going? In this lesson I will give you a brief overview of the brush editor. In order to open the brush editor we click on this icon here. We have a number of panels. First of all, at the top we see an example of the current brush. On this panel I see a number of parameters. These are parameters which I can change, thereby changing the properties of the brush. For example, I can change the diameter with this parameter. If I change one of the parameters, I see a notification here, reminding me that the brush has been changed. I can reload the original settings by clicking here. On this panel, I see a list of categories. Changing the category changes which parameters are displayed here. We will talk more about what the various parameters do later. Next we have a panel on the left. We can select the brush we want to modify here. We can filter which brush brushes are displayed here by tag or we can filter them by engine. So what is a brush engine anyway? A brush engine is an algorithm which translates the brush input to the stroke. In other words, it translates the movement of your stylus to the stroke which you see on your screen. Different engines are governed by different equations and functions and they also have different parameters. The most popular and the most commonly used engine is the pixel engine, but some brushes also use a different engine. For example, the smudging brushes use the color smudge engine. I will not really talk about the differences between various engines. They are quite similar, so I'm going to cover the parameters of the Pixel engine. If you need special instructions for one of the other engines, you will easily be able to find it in the Krita documentation online. This is a beginner's course, so I will not go in very big depth into all of the engines. Finally, we have a scratch pad on the right. Here we can test our brush as we modify the parameters. Whatever ends up in this square will serve as our brush thumbnail. We can clear the scratch pad in various ways with the buttons below. And finally, we can save the changes. We can either overwrite the current brush, be careful doing that because you might lose the brush, or we can also save as a new brush. Oh yeah, and we can also rename the brush here. So that was the very basics. In the next lesson we will learn about various brush parameters. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.